Hello humans, I am the Black Cat and today we look at The Wretched. The Wretched was released in 2019, starring John Paul Howard as Ben, Piper Cruder as Mallory and Jameson Jones as Liam. So the Wretched follows teenage boy Ben. His parents are in the process of getting a divorce and apparently Ben isn't taking it too well and is acting up. So he's sent to spend time with his father. His father, Liam, lives in a small town. His neighbours are a couple that have two kids, a baby and a young boy named Dylan. Ben goes to work for his dad at a harbour. This is where he meets Mallory his love interest. After a couple of days, Ben notices that the mother from the house next door starts to act strange. There's a moment of him watching the house that kind of reminds me of Fright Night, but unlike Fright Night, Ben doesn't try to tell anyone about his suspicions until much later in the film. Ben notices a symbol scratched at the door of the neighbor's house. He takes a photo of it and looks it up. He comes across a site that has the symbol and it talks about a witch that makes people forget about people, mostly kids, so she can eat them, as you do. The witch lives in a tree in the woods, and every so often she comes out to feed. As time goes by, he notices more and more things, and works out that the woman next door is actually the witch. I don't want to give away too much about what happens in this movie, so no spoilers this time. This is a spoiler-free zone. The cinematography in this movie was pretty good, I thought. It was very visually interesting. They did use lighting to add to some of the scene's creepiness. Overall, the lighting and cinematography was utilised really well. However, there was one scene towards the end where Ben is inside the tree that ended up being rather confusing. It wasn't well lit and there was lots of cuts back and forth and I think they even broke the 180 rule at a couple of points. So it became really confusing about what was actually happening. But that was the only moment that really bothered me. They did use practical special effects for the makeup and some CGI, but the CGI wasn't overused and I think they mostly used practical and lighting effects, which is always a plus. Favourite shot in the whole movie would have to be close to the beginning when Ben first encountered the creature. He wasn't sure about what he was actually seeing. Uh, the use of clever lighting really lends to the shot as well. I actually enjoyed The Wretched. It has an interesting concept which I thought was well executed. The acting was good, even the child actors were good, characters were likeable and watchable. The villain was scary and intimidating. Unfortunately, the witch makeup was a little cookie cutter, like we've seen this face many times before, but the overall look of the movie was really nice and the end was also really interesting. But like I said, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, so. So, yeah. Overall, it was a pretty good movie. I was actually pleasantly surprised. So would I watch it again? Yes, yes I would. I think it would be interesting to watch it again knowing what was happening. It's one of those movies that you want to watch again to see if you can catch all the little hints and things. But anyway, that brings me to the end of this review. Let me know what you think if you've seen this movie. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.